Today we will talk about Alma Linux and its role in the supercomputers worldwide. It all started with a question. How does Alma Linux position itself within the global Linux community? First, let's briefly talk about the top 500 list, ranking the world's most powerful supercomputers. This list contains both supercomputers and high research computing clusters, all competing for the top spot based on their performance. You can also check different statistics related to operating a supercomputer. So you can go to that latest stats update and then you can filter by category. And there are quite a few categories. So I looked at the operating systems. It shows you the share of each operating system within that top 500 list. So we'll come back to that in a minute. This project began as early as 1993 and up to this date, it's updated twice a year. Well, it is a well-known fact that Alma Linux is community-driven, free and open source Linux distribution. And it is backed by many prominent organizations, which we will come back later to. It was interesting to learn that the name Alma Linux was chosen to honor the worldwide open source community. Because Alma apparently means soul in Spanish and other Latin languages, reflecting the spirit and passion of developers community. The current top 500 list shows that Alma Linux is currently running on at least four out of the 500 listed supercomputers. However, that number is likely going to change in the future updates of the list. We'll see why and discuss the rankings in the end of the video. These supercomputers are ranked based on their performance using the so-called High Performance Lean Pack benchmark. This benchmark measures how fast and how well the system or the supercomputer can solve a dense system of linear equations. Now let's take a look at some prominent organizations using Alma Linux. The first one is the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN in Switzerland. And then there is Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory in US. Both are leaders in scientific computing and have adopted Alma Linux for their computing needs. And besides these two major organizations, Alma Linux seems to have gained trust in the scientific community despite its young age. Additionally, major platforms like Amazon's AWS, Microsoft Azure, and a bunch of others support Alma Linux as well. With the end of life announcement for the CentOS, which I discussed in this video, many organizations migrated to Alma Linux. Prior to that and to this date, it seems like the discontinued CentOS Linux actually has powered close to 8% of all these supercomputers in the list. And this was the number I didn't expect to see. It has the second largest share of the supercomputers out of the top 500 list. Since Alma Linux is positioned as one of the best options to migrate to from the discontinued CentOS, I think that number or the percentage of the supercomputers using Alma Linux will only increase. It seems to be especially true for the high performance computing clusters in the scientific applications. Now as a personal example, the Digital Research Alliance Canada has, I think at least five supercomputing clusters and they're actually all listed in that top 500 list, which I did not know about. Anyway, I know for a fact that they have moved to Alma Linux about two months ago, maybe a little less because I'm using them for my research applications all the time. So I know that they have migrated and they're no longer using CentOS, but the top 500 website still shows them as using CentOS. So even like if you added these two, these five that I know for sure that have migrated to Alma Linux, that number four is already at nine. And I think many others will follow very soon or at the very latest at the next update of this top 500 list. We will see many more supercomputers adopting Alma Linux. And now, as promised, here are the rankings of the Alma Linux powered supercomputers on the top 500 list. And the stats are from the June 2024. So the first place is taken by Alex at Universität Erlangen, Germany. It has ranked 212th in that list and it is followed by the cluster called Fritz at the same university and is ranked 242 out of 500. Third one is in Vienna, Austria, and it's also a scientific research cluster called VSC5, and it has ranked 455. And then finally, the last one is the H-Super 
at Helmut Schmidt University, Germany, which has ranked the last 500 out of 500. Here are these four, and I'm curious to see how many will be added to this list in the next update. Given that, I wonder, will Alma Linux actually be able to rise to the fame of CentOS in this ranking system? I mean, to get that close to 8% share of that total pie, um, we'll see. I guess the future will tell. What do you think? Please remember to give this video a like or a dislike, and let me know what you think. Until next time.